Hey, welcome to this video. We're going to be doing lead code problem 66 plus 1. So what's going to happen is they're going to give you an array of numbers that should represent a number itself. So an array of 1, 2, and 3 in it will represent the number 123. And we have to add 1 to 123, so we get 124 back. And we need to return an array representing 124. Now this seems easy on the surface, but where it gets a bit more complex is if we have to do a carry operation, like what we learned in arithmetic in elementary school, right? So if this was 1, 2, 9, we're not supposed to return back 1, 2, 10. It should return back 1, 3, 0 for 130, because 129 plus 1 is equal to 130. The way we're going to solve this is we're going to work through the input array backwards, right? Because as we add 1, if there's a carry, we have to move to the left of the number, left of the digits, like we learned in arithmetic in elementary school. So if you like this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell next to the subscribe button so that you get notified of any new videos. With that being said, let's get started. Again, I'm going to work through this digits array backwards from right to left in case we have to do that carry operation. So I'll say 4, let i is equal to digits dot length minus 1, i is greater than or equal to 0, i minus minus, and I'll say if digits at index i is less than 9, so we don't have to worry about a carry operation, right? This means a carry operation does not need to be done. What do we do? I'm going to say digits i is equal to itself plus 1, and then return digits immediately, right? If digits was 1, 2, 3, just change the last number of 3 to 4, and we're good to go. Otherwise, right, our current digit is a 9. We're not going to set it to a 10. We have to set it to 0 and do that arithmetic carry operation. So I'll say digits i is not equal to 0, and that's it. We're good to go. Our for loop will go again. So imagine we get past 1, 2, 9. This else will run, and so that 9 becomes a 0, and now our for loop is on that number 2. It changes that 2 to a 3. We return back 1, 3, 0. So this if check not only handles if we have to do a carry, but also if we don't have to do a carry. But there's one more edge case I want to handle. I'm going to say digits.unshift1, and then return digits. So why do I have this code here? Imagine that our input array is 9 and 9. We get 99 back. We want to return back, well, 100. So 1, 0, 0. If this for loop ever finishes, because we never return the digits as is, then for an input of 9, 9, we just get back 0, 0. We get back all zeros. And so I'm saying if that edge case happens where this for loop finishes running and we get all zeros, we add 1 to the beginning, right? we get 100, and then return digits as is. So let's make sure my solution passes the lead code test. So I'll paste it in, and we're good to go. So what is the plus 1 complexity analysis? Time complexity is O of n, because remember our for loop loops the over the input array from right to left, from the end towards the beginning, and our space complexity is O of 1. All right. That concludes this video.